Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Hedaytullah with another new video. In recently, I have completed about Tekla Structural Designer tutorial series, and there I have discussed about uh, I mean RCC building design that how will design an RCC building, and also I have uh, draw a five-story building, and also have draw a uh, three-story building as a real project. I have worked with that, so. Now, from the tutorial, tutorial, I'm going to show that how we'll design a steel structure. Okay, so from the tutorial, we're going for steel steel structure uh, design. Okay, so if you new to our channel, and also if you're a civil engineer, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel because this channel is for you. So let's start. Uh, first of all, actually, in this tutorial series I will show that how will draw a portal frame okay I mean how will draw a portal frame so before work just uh, you know need to know something about portal frame that's why I found some picture from internet and if anyone seeing that I mean if you are the owner of that picture please contact to me I will down that or I will try to down that uh, if you give me the proof because uh, but uh, don't give me any copyright claim so after that this is only for uh, actually educational purpose so first of all you have to know something that this is the column okay and this is the rafter okay this is rafter and uh, here on rafter this is parallel and here at uh, this point is known as apex and here apex hunts this this connection are known as apex hunts and that that uh, extra connection i mean support are known as ifs hunts and uh, actually in regular structural designer you will not found any connection design okay you will not found any connection design so we have to done that design by using tecla structure i mean tecla connection design software so also i'll show you that how we'll do that so yes to with us I will try to complete everything so if I go in next video here it's little bit clear so here is the parlin I mean from that uh, vertical sorry that horizontal line horizontal uh, steel bar or horizontal steel element but that support our shade it's known as parlin or the roof parlin and uh, from uh, our level i mean from our floor level to that column height okay it's known as eave height it's the important term and you should know that it's eave uh, it's eave height after that from here uh, from one column to another column distance is known as bay spacing okay it's known as bay spacing and from uh, i mean our floor level to our uh, column joint level this is known as clear height okay and from here if we use any crossing for I mean as a tension member I mean if we use any crossing I'm by using rod it's known as here it's known as bracing okay it's known as bracing and at the corner columns the corner columns is known as corner post okay so and here this is known as hunch this is known as hunch if we use any extra things and here is the bracing rod okay and if we use the rod or steel element in vertical I mean perpendicular direction that it is known as rod bracing uh, I think it's okay to go in our software and if we see here also so also you can take a screenshot from here and also that is available in internet so you are seeing that it's known as apex and here this is inner hunch okay inner hinge I mean hunch bracket and have the apex bracket it is also known as hands then it is uh, apex brace 
if we use brace from um, that point to that point I also show you that how we'll use brace here okay so this is known as apex brace and this is the rafter and this is jet purling if we use uh, jet shape of purling that, that it is known as jet purling so this is the if purling I mean from if point okay if there have any I mean purling in if point then it is known as if purling after that uh, end wall milon here and also they have fly bracing like that so this is column and the, this is cross bracing oil they have discussed about that so I think uh, it's done everything I have completed to discuss about that okay and from that distance to that distance that distance to that that distance that is known as from that distance distance to that that distance um, it will be LS okay a length of hunts hunts length length okay so here also and here ASA ASMS ASMS from our if level to apex level height okay and from if level height to that height is known as clear height and also this is the column height this is the pin base and uh, here our here uh, if you see here this is di's main our hunt here if you see that uh, in our false video here at that point it's hunt this hunt width in that side so if I go here here just this is the hunt width from that point to that point and here is the hunt length it, uh, it will be required when we will work here okay so I think it's clear and we can go to our software and in this tutorial actually I'm going to show you about basic okay so I'll just cross that after that I will open our software this tech class is designer 2019 and if you new here you can watch our previous many video about software tutorial so that all are given in description I think it will be helpful for you so uh, it's here now I will click here open and just uh, one thing and to show that in previous I have done a work with our that with that model so if you see here okay here is our model this is our previous model already have done that okay so this is one of our Perlin structure so I'll try to uh, draw I, I mean I will show that how I have done that and also I will uh, give you some extra features here um, so for that uh, when it will be new when it will be new like that just you have to click here click new after that I will just click on 3d and give it here that set will be 3d and that set will be 2d after that uh, I'll go here model setting okay first of all you have to go here model setting then from model setting go here design code this is the important according to which country code you want to design that so from here you have to go here and you have to select your country from which country i am going to show you about united state design code so it will be asc uh, 5 and also they have three codes you can also select that i'll select 5 and for resistance code here is still design okay it's okay and from from here you can select I will select for that LRFD okay. for still design it will be LRFD after that uh, this concrete design that are not required so it's 
done and also I'll select 2005 okay 2005 and other for concrete design also I'll select uh, sorry here it's for concrete design it's ACI so I'll select for steel design oh sorry that's not fact because I am using another code here not ASC I have used ASC here action code and for design code I will use that okay so after that go ahead unit from here you can change your unit I mean which unit you want to use here you can change that so I will work in matrix unit you can change also it in US unit I mean I input in so okay after that click here okay so after doing that we'll just go here model okay and from here uh, from here I will just go here just uh, I'll click that little triangle shape and then from here I'll select rectangular wizard okay rectangular wizard as our grid so I'll just click next so I'll also click next also click next and from here I will for X direction I will select it will be irregular suppose it's meter uh, I'll consider that suppose 5 meter comma will be 6 meter comma again will be suppose um, 5 meter I'll just do something different 6 5 6 6 comma 5 comma 6 okay we can do that shape this is the spacing from our own column to another column okay on column to another I mean our bay spacing in previously I have shown you that about bay spacing that is okay so in irregular and suppose that your shape is regular then just give here your value okay or regular and uh, which part you it will be divided and give you just length and which part it will be divided just give you that value so click next after that I will show that I'll consider that our bay I mean our bay length in according to uh, x direction and y direction it will be 2 and also its uh, distance will be not 4 it's uh, 7.5 okay 7.5 so that point to that point 7.5 and that point to that point 7.5 i mean our total clear span will be 15 okay uh, and also if you think that you need more space then you can also increase that and i think that is okay for me and also 15 means almost 50 feet okay so this this is huge and also we know that uh, we use steel frame um as i mean uh when we need steel frame we use steel frame I mean portal frame actually when we need the huge space we need huge space but without any disturbance I mean without any columns in middle or anywhere like that that's why we use steel structure and steel structure is also also good uh, show good resistance in earthquake so after that it's done then click finish now see that we have done that this is a 3d and this is a 2d so in our next video i will show that how we'll draw our portal frame okay and how we'll complete that so if you think that was helpful for you don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also like our video and also leave a comment if you have any uh, opinion or any suggest so stay with us and learn learn something different okay so thank you thank you very much stay let's connect it till next video